Ochasan milk tea from Thailand with the boba pearls, supposedly. Everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we are going to try a Thai milk tea masquerading itself as a Japanese milk tea. It's a little bit weird, but basically this is called Ochasan and it is quote an original milk tea boba pearls low fat. That's basically all the English on the front. On the back, there's not really much. There's actually a lot of Thai, and there's a little bit of Japanese sprinkled in here and there. Like you can see, like original milk tea, and then it says in Japanese, Originaru Miruk Tea, Miruku Tea, except there's spaces in the wrong place. So this is basically masquerading as if it were a Japanese drink, and it actually tastes like a Japanese style milk tea. Because I've actually already tasted it. I, I opened one up and I actually already filmed my Japanese, uh, actually my Chinese video. And um, I don't need to open up this one. I'll, I guess I'll save it for later because I don't want to drink two of them right now. But um, let me just cut to the chase on this guy. Um, I, as you can see, there is some stuff floating in here. Those are the quote unquote boba pearls, except there's nothing pearl about them and there's nothing boba about them either. Um, they are these weird kind of like black speck things, kind of scabby things. I actually spit one out on this <laughs> napkin already. I'll Instead of showing you that, I'll, I'll play the video of me um, drinking the other version. What are we doing? Close. Okay. There's one. Anyway, anyway. So I've actually done several, I wouldn't say a lot, but I've done definitely more than a few drink reviews for things that have stuff floating in the drink, um, you know, whether it's nata de coco or it's another like pearl tea. Uh, but I have to say that when it comes to like canned drinks, which are, you know, obviously preserved and put on a shelf, the floating stuff is always kind of underwhelming. It's there. I guess there's been a couple with like floating grapes where I was kind of surprised. Uh, but for the most part, it's underwhelming, especially compared to like if I went to a, an actual pearl tea specialist kind of tea place and got like a gigantic bubble milk tea with a big straw compared to whatever I'm going to get out of this can, this is going to be way worse, right? This thing was made six months ago, probably. Um, so already it's starting off to a bad foot, but this is just like way, way, way worse. So uh, that's really the Achilles heel of this. The taste is actually not that bad. It actually does remind me, as I said, of like the kind of milk teas you can buy in Japan. But these pearls I mean at least they're not too rubbery but they're just kind of gross it's like yeah like I ate a bunch of tadpoles or something <laughs> every time I open my mouth because there's like three or four in here right now right so yeah somehow just like the whole texture and physical interaction is unpleasant I would say let's put it that way another thing of note about this drink and I won't say it's negative or positive is the ingredients. As you may know, I always mention the sugar content, not always, but usually measure the sugar content of the drinks I'm doing on this channel. And uh, usually it's just whether it's way too sugary or it's like basically under sugared, which means it usually has artificial sweeteners and I don't like artificial sweeteners, uh, especially like Ace K and Aspartame, which have like a really bad aftertaste. So when I saw this one, it mentioned that it uses Sweetener 965, and I was like, oh, which one is 965? Is that Ace K? Is that Stevia? Is What is it? Because I'm almost definitely not going to like it. And then I looked it up, and I found out that 965 is something I don't think I've ever encountered before. It's called Molitol. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is basically sugar alcohol. So it's somehow sugar is take and like distilled into alcohol, and yet it's still sweet. So somehow... The amount of calories goes down, but the sweetness stays. So it is an alternate sweetener. I'm not going to call it artificial because hypothetically it's made from sugar, not some like total chemical creation. Um, but it's different, and I don't know if there's an aftertaste on that one because I don't really detect anything now from my like limited sample size because I've only, I guess, ever had one Molotol drink. I think like alcohol-wise, I should probably be okay because if there's only 4.4 grams of sugars in this entire thing and the can is 230 milliliters, which means it weighs about 230 grams, you're talking like 2%. Okay, so that part should be fine. So anyway, the, the real drawback for this is definitely the quote-unquote pearls. 
Um, and that's what's going to be my final verdict on this guy, is uh, for Ocha-san, the wannabe Japanese milk tea, but actually from Thailand tea that claims to have boba pearls. Boba Fett says, you failed the boba test. Neither a boba nor a pearl. Not good. Go back to school. You are free to use any methods necessary, but I want them alive. No disintegration. As you wish. Anyway, I'm on a rant, but uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed. I actually do like my milk teas quite a bit. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you everyone for your support. Sorry I've been putting out less and less English videos. I've been just way too busy, and my Chinese channel is actually really taking off compared to this. I can get like easily 10 times or 100 times more views on my Chinese channel than I can on my English channel, which I've been updating for like years. So it's kind of hard to justify um, and filming everything twice is kind of a pain and editing everything twice is kind of a pain. So anyway, we'll see. But uh, as long as someone's leaving comments, I'll definitely keep up updating in English, just maybe a little bit less often. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye. Not two, not three, but four, count on four special heritage edition bottles from Coca-Cola. So this is a...